Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to introduce this family here that I have been playing off camera by myself. The only thing I've ever done of her like on camera is a TikTok. Her name is Whitley and she has a little bit of a troubling past. Um, but Nonetheless, she did end up meeting Alexander Goth and they are engaged and I'm trying to get them to have a baby um, or get married at some point um, because he came with like $80,000. So, you know, he I didn't even know he was that rich. So Whitley is a baker mainly. She's she's basically like a cook slash baker. Her, all of her like skills are at 10. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out why why the dumpster is like this. It wasn't like this when I put it here, so I'm not really sure, but um, it was like clean. I'm not sure how you get it from not looking like that, but anyways, I'll put a different one there. Um, that way it doesn't look like that. So Whitley owns this bakery and it's called Sugar Bliss and it used to have 20k, but she just baked a lot of stuff. Um, I do have some perk points see cheaper restocking instant restocking retail socials let's let's get a oh, sure sale unlock sure sale social average customer will purge an item when you used on them is this like a one-time thing retail socials used on customers will have a greater chance of succeeding i right, let's get this one so i don't know what this one is so this is sugar bliss i actually built this it is in Windenburg and Whitley hopes to move here with Alexander once they get married. I think this is really cute. There's a lot of CCs that actually fall in my game right now. So um, definitely excited about that because I use the custom cooking stuff. So yeah, so we got some pumpkins. You guys already know that these strawberry planters like are my favorite. So once you go through the doors, Whitley should actually be standing. Yeah, she's in her pajamas, so forgive her. I need to put her in her bakery outfit. But when you walk in, here are the baskets. Um, her favorite color is purple, so that is why that's in there. There's also an, a really awful humming noise in this like area. I'm assuming it's for me having so many of these refrigerators in one spot maybe i thought it was these but i took all these out and it was not so i'm not really sure what the humming noise is so i try to stay further away from it when i am playing because i hate hearing it there's also something about this area here that the sims always say have a yucky smell i have looked i have moved stuff i have done everything and i cannot figure i don't know if it's a glitch or what because the rest of the bakery smells fine just they are not happy with like this particular area right here so there's nothing i can do about it so in this case here so i change up her cases a lot so i don't get bored um but this case has carrot cake these two decadent cakes are actually custom content cakes but i'm allowed to put them for sale so i leave them in here because i think they look really good birthday cake and a coconut cake some raspberry cake, chocolate cake, and then this has like a little design on it, but you can't kind of see. It's I have two carrot cakes in here, but I feel like this one is more suited for Easter, but I just went ahead and made her make it anyway. Since it is fall in my game, I do have more fall themed recipes. So we have minty mocha cupcakes because they're green. I have this like little graveyard cake. I have this caramel apple cake and this one is actually sitting on a like a different stand than this because if I put it up too high they clip through. We have an apple, we have pecan pie or pecan pie however you guys say it. We have this like strawberry cake, these ghost cupcakes and then this like purple gelatin pudding thing. I don't know, I just it looked like it was in style for spooky season so I used it. And then I love this one. So we have Fall cookies in two different types, ghost rice crispy treats, Frankenstein rice crispy treats, pumpkin rice crispy treats, these are bat rice crispy treats, candy corn, I don't know if they're rice crispy treats or cookies, and then we have the spooky cookies that came with the actual pack, like the spooky stuff pack. 
Then when you come over here, we have, I used to have this area just for jam, like canning stuff, but she hasn't like done any canning in a while. So I made her make this cute little cake. Um, this will be like perfect for anybody who is getting married for the spooky season or anything. I'm probably going to have her get married in the spring because she likes spooky season. Of course, like who, I don't know who doesn't like Halloween if you don't. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but she's like more of a springtime girl. Over here, we have some more, like, stuff that doesn't need to really be, like, refrigerated type pastries, some biscuits, and a hot cross bun. And then over here is the register area, um, just some little decorations. I know some people talked about, um, the cash register being the reason that they say that, like, the venue, like, area it smells bad, but I can assure you I've changed the register, nothing happens. Also, um... Whitley has taken all of these photos that are around her bakery. This one is not a bakery item, but I just shoved it up there. Um, so this is what it looks like behind the register. You have like these cake boxes and bags and stuff like that. So it's just like, you know, just a simple behind the register. Over here, she also does like cross stitching. So, but I also made her do some like extra cakes so her little small extra small business thing is called handmade hobby and i kind of wanted it to look like she was showcasing another small business in her bakery but technically it's just her it's like crystal cake she made this spooky cake and then look at this cute jack skellington cake that somebody made I'm like hello how cute i actually need to take a picture of it myself and then over here we have some more pictures this is this leads to the kitchen and there leads to somewhere if you want to sit and have food and the bathroom is in that area plus this um stairs are also in that area but the door is locked so over here in this case we just have well here's like the like the wall decoration we have another pecan pie some crescent cookies a party bag some other desserts this is just like our like i feel like everyday type desserts i guess you could say and then when you spin around i made too many red velvet cupcakes so in order to get those out of the way we're selling those she does always have these donuts here i might change them up sometimes i do have a mod or custom content or whatever that like gives you like different donuts but you can only get like one at a time and i can only put one in here at a time so it kind of defeats the purpose over here is our bread table we have like raisin bread cheesy bread sourdough whole wheat and some breadsticks because who doesn't want breadsticks and then to add on to the bread i have made some hamburger buns like pretzel and whole wheat sesame just in case people want to have hamburgers and stuff i think that's so cool so when you first walk in you're greeted with like the trash can and then i don't know if you guys have ever worked in a bakery before but i used to work in a bakery so we would always have like two containers when i worked at Publix, one for clean aprons and then once you were done for the day you would take your apron off and put it in the dirty apron bin so here i have just this because it's just her i want to get another employee and i might do that um but here's just like the hamper with the aprons some like employee scheduling stuff and some important information some fresh produce for certain recipes that it's not like functional or anything refrigerator here are some this is like a sandwich platter like if you like click on it you can like put sandwiches all over this i don't remember what this is um just some stuff is like granny's recipe and tiana's cookbook i think are the mods that i use um, here is the stove, here is the sink, and then we have this KitchenAid. Um, the issue with this is I'm not really sure why it does it, but every time my sim comes over here to make pastries or cupcakes, because this is an override to the cupcake thingy, um, it's, it's like always looks so funny, but, um, they do, she does like a series of poses that I have for Cass, and it's so funny. And then you have like Oni's grocery, um, and then I have some stuff over here. I want to remove this probably because she won't cook in it. Mini fridge, cups, some baking stuff. And then this rack, I don't sell any of this stuff because I kind of like make everything like, um, for her business. Like I want her to cook it. But all of these things are so cute. It kind of looks like she was busy making stuff. Like there's a frozen cake, pumpkin cookies, etc. So yeah. And then we have just like an ingredient shelf and then like some other counter space 
I'm I'm not sure if this is a functional cookbook or what. But um yeah, and my favorite is probably the heart setting board. So yeah, that's what the kitchen looks like. The dining area is nothing extraordinary, just some decoration. Nobody really sits in there. The bathroom is the most plain. There's apparently a glass of water on the <laughs> on the floor. And then through here are just stairs um that lead up to another apartment, but I have the like floors down. So let me put you guys up to the little apartment above everything. So when you come up here, this is her little apartment that she stays at. Here's her like bed, TV. There's a kitchen, a full kitchen in here that I think is, yeah, it has a sink, a stove, a refrigerator, and a microwave. Yeah, full kitchen. Just some here and there items because she doesn't stay here all the time, just sometimes. And then here is her bathroom. This bathroom is actually a lot nicer than her bathroom at home especially the tub because she just has a stand-up shower at home so yeah definitely nicer but there's nothing on the balcony or anything and there's nothing behind the um bakery as well it's just you know just plain bakery like this i'm still not really sure what happened here though how do i clean this up like what does it mean to i'm actually have her die for deals just because i want to see what this is like how do i clean this and what are we diving for exactly? A bar stool. Okay, but can we pick this up? How many deals can we die for? A kitchen upgrade part. Um, I mean, did this come with eco lifestyle? Did she buy anything else? Another bar stool. Is it in like the family inventory? Because I'll just sell them. But I'm actually going to give her a different dumpster just because I don't like this mess. You know what? Maybe I took out the dumpster that I was... No? Yeah, it looks so clean when you first get it. That's so funny. Um, I think I'm just going to give her a regular trash can. We'll give her two. That way it kind of... Let's do like one... Like let's do the blue for the black one for recycling. And then we'll do the green or green for recycling and the black one for um for like regular trash. We'll just pretend because that's not how it works. But uh, dumpster diving. Dirty birdie. Oh, she's icky. Okay. Anyways, that is all I want to show you guys. My frame rate dropped because I went into build by mode. So annoying. But yeah, that was all I wanted to show you guys. Willie does have a history with like abortions. <laughs> and old relationships she is definitely um one of my more interesting sims if you haven't seen her this is what she looks like. she does have short hair when i first started playing with her then i realized she looked like too she looked too much like somebody i saw on tiktok and i was like oh why do i keep unintentionally making people that look like other people that i have encountered or know so i gave her longer hair so she didn't look like that anymore um so yeah and this is her this is her um her pajama outfit this actually looks like the softest outfit ever but yeah i am hoping to give her a child with alexander goth because i think she would be a fantastic mother he actually makes like way more than her he makes like 2500 in a day so the baby would definitely have to go to daycare because she can't like do both he goes well actually Maybe. It all depends on how early she opens the bakery. She would have to be off by three, but it would have to be so exact that the baby would still go to daycare anyways. If you guys are interested in seeing a Let's Play with this character, because I probably will do it, um, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next video.